Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy to see you here. And actually today we have a story to tell you. Basically on Monday we booked our tickets to go back to Italy for Christmas and literally the next day, a couple of hours later, we saw that Italy is in the quarantine list in the UK. So I feel like we don't even know anymore if we can go. And Ben is very sad about this. Very sad. Are you gonna miss your grandma's pasta for Christmas? Yes, I'm And because of that, I decided that we can go and have some delicious pasta here. Yay! And also, a spoiler alert from me, we'll be both eating pasta and then also trying to make fresh handmade pasta at home, which didn't end up so well, that's all I'm gonna tell you. And also guys, if you like this content where I show you different parts of London or try delicious food and review it for you, don't forget to subscribe. It really, really means the world for me and for her. And I decided to take Ben to Emilia's Crafted Pasta because they have a delicious handmade pasta and he has never been there before. They have actually two restaurants, but we decided to go to the one at uh, St. Catherine's Dock because I think it's pretty beautiful and I love the location and I don't usually go there. And here we are! I actually also put like this dress with lemons because I thought it's going to be... Okay, let me show you kind of like in style with the restaurant and this is the view from the inside and as you can see they also have tables outside which would be super nice in summer and here our antipasti so with Ben we always have this discussion because I literally think that every when you open the burrata then like all the liquid comes out you know all those Instagram videos but no it doesn't work like that it like, never happened what was it supposed to be yes. Let's try it out this time. Let's okay? see if this time will come out. Yeah, what do you happen. think? Like, what, do you, what do you expect? Something not No, why? why would it come okay, out? open it a bit more. Like, I mean, it's still beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's nothing supposed to come out. According to an Italian, I mean, like, Instagram what? is wrong. Yeah, they say, I've never seen that stuff. Yeah, why would you like spread all that milk? It's just, just weird. So let's do a little taste test for you. Okay, I just want to say, Vasi, very tired. I'm not letting my new having the like, cured beef. I'm just gonna have a try. Okay. Uh. Uh. Mm. How is it? Mm. Mm. I love it. Mm. And here is my salad. So. I got a good piece of cheese with uh, a tomato. You can also really feel how fresh is the olive oil. And the burrata may not be liquid, but it's still good. It's good and, and they also have a lot of oregano, which is... And they have different colors, they're so nice. It's cute. Maybe it's not liquid, but it's still creamy. And now pasta time! And if you're not sure which shape of the pasta is which, you can also check it here on top of the menu. I got this carbonara with smoked salmon and pecorino and beaten eggs. And these are the ravioli with sage and butter and parmesan. Yum. I like it. A taste yeah. test. Taste test. But you don't know how delicious this smells and it has quite a lot of salmon, it's like kind of a generous portion. I'm actually not sure if I can finish that. This is all like, there's all the like lamb and parmesan, I, I fucking love it. It's really, really good, really delicious. Yum, 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 y
Oh my god, look how much salmon is there and this isn't even all of it because I'm halfway through. And I gave Ben some of mine because as I told you I couldn't finish it. So usually the carbonol is we should put cheddar on the salmon. So I'm a bit skeptical. How do you feel about it? I'm a bit skeptical of course, you know. Like yeah. any other it's funny because there's like a little kid, you know, like looking at us right now, she's sort of like, She's like what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, she's like she's wearing like basically it's very cold outside, so she's wearing a cover and she really looks like you know like one of those smurfs. I don't know. Well she looks like me basically. With my scar, but yeah, she but, has uh, uh, twenty years younger. Fair enough. Yeah. I like the salmon with the eggs. So, this kid. To be honest, I kind of regret not taking the festo. And there's always room for the dessert, right? Here are these. And this is a tiramisu with amaretto. I, I like how basically these are very like, traditional, you know, like desserts, but like they give like their own touch, you know, with adding the amaretto here as well as here on the gelato. So, so this is uh, mascarpone gelato with yeah. amaretto. And yeah, and this this doesn't look like an amaretto, does it? It's more like a mostacciolo, if you ask me. Now I'm editing this and I googled what is a mostacciolo because it was the first time that I heard it and I start questioning how Italian is banned. I think we can start eating. We're so gonna be hungry. Like, Again? Yeah. Didn't you have enough food? No, I mean, there's, there's, there's a bit of room for the dessert. So, just so to show you again. again. Yeah, so actually they figured. Can we, can we eat now? Yeah. He always wants to eat. Taste test number three. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I love it. I love it. Hey. Basically, I got the gelato, but I'm kind of. Yeah, let's walk. Mm. How is it? Mm. But his reactions are so good. Now I want to, now I want to try the ice cream as well. Mm. So much honey, delicious, and like you get like the liquidy ice cream and the crunch of the amaretto, and on top of that, the sweetness of the honey. Can you feel the mascarpone? There's no mascarpone in here. It is. Not the reason. Boing. Review time. Review time. So, uh, do you want to start? Overall, I really liked it. I really enjoyed my experience. I will give it a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the ravioli, of course. I think I, I actually want to do that now. Then I want to make them now. Yeah, we got so inspired that we are actually doing ravioli now. Okay, the appetite, the antipasti were really, really nice. I really enjoyed the brusola. Uh, there was too much olive oil, but it's okay, and it's not that bad. The ravioli well, were perfect, like the lamb, ugh, so yummy. The dessert were also like, very sweet. I really liked the ice cream, it was really like Italian gelato. And for me, I would say it was like, yeah, between 8 or 9, like 8.5 or something, because to be honest, I expected a little bit more of the pasta. Like this is the only thing which uh, I thought it could have been better. Or maybe if I just uh, went for a more traditional pasta would be better. Yeah. Wish there was a wider choice of desserts because like half of them had gelato and- I like gelato. I, I mean, mind. it's fine, but I just thought that we need like some more variety apart from the gelato. The mm. antipasto and the burrata were amazing. So overall, we really loved it and now we're also gonna take you a little bit with us and show us what's gonna happen if we try and make handmade pasta at home and I think that's gonna be fun and as usual ah, we have now. Okay. no freaking clue how this is gonna end but come with us we'll see okay let's go how is it going oh it's going pretty well uh, I didn't follow exactly the proportions that we yeah, saw online. Yeah, we never do that in this house. No, but it's just about like every flower is different, every egg is different in shape and size, you know. So, but the important thing is you get, you know, this sort of color and this sort of like shape, you know, and it's flat. It's a good, you know, mix. And here Ben is preparing his own pasta with meat. And we have some very interesting shapes What do you in see here? here? I see half a bird. And I actually decided to make my ravioli with uh, ricotta and spinach. Not that bad for a first time, I would say. Here we are! 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 Here we are!
then you'd want anyone to say samosa. <laughs> yeah, voila, a samosa. And these are fence <laughs> ones? Yeah. I feel like this, no, see? Uh, this was one of the first ones, that's why you know got really big, but you can see we have loads of shapes down here. Well, let's try them. And these are mine. Yeah. Yum. And we just had lunch. How do you feel? Honestly? Oh, much, much better. I feel relieved of my pasta nostalgia. <laughs> so I'm feeling good. I mean, of course, it's not like going back home, but it's still a pretty good solution. And oh my god, you guys, I'm so freaking full. Love you loads. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe.